Well, hello, friends, neighbors. John your Whiskey Neighbor here, and well, welcome down to the Nook. It's Sunday, so we're going to shoot some samples. And I've had these little bottles around for quite some time. Paul Bovis, uh, like a legend in the whiskey community here around Edmonton, uh, did sort of a tasting, but we never did it live. He just sort of, you know, gave out notes, and we could all do it whenever we wanted to. A little while back about rye. And so these are all cast strength ryes. So, um, you know, the first one here is a shelter point. I think it's a co-op private barrel, 57, 58 and a half percent. And then this one, another shelter point rye, uh, 57.9, but it doesn't say where it came from or who put it together. And the last one is Alberta Premium Batch 2, which I know I've talked about, but I'm interested to taste it here in this sample mix. So, you know, I've just poured these out. I haven't uh, given them any more thought than what I've shared with you. So why don't you, uh, if you have, pour a rye, pour a big, bold, cast strength rye, and come on back and we'll share some thoughts across these Shelter Point and Alberta Premium cast strength ryes. Three, four. Well, thanks for staying with me. A uh, little unfocused, uh, but really we're going to talk cast strength rise. So the first one is, uh, as I said, there's two shelter point releases in Alberta Premium. However, they're all from Alberta distillers, I think. I don't have a lot of history on this, but here I've got a private casking from shelter point, 58.5% all rye. Let's give it a nose and a taste, see where it goes. Well, you know, it's pretty big and bold, 58%, but surprisingly nice sweet sugars, candy apples. Yeah, cinnamons, but back into that, you know, candy crack. It's a little bit sweet on the nose. Let's give it a try on the palate. Cheers. A little bit of kick on that one. Lots of good flavors. Bit of oaking, some, some dry oak mixed in with the hot cinnamons, sweet candy apples. Not too grassy. I'm going to try it again. Well, that's a bold start. Lots of flavor though. Um, I like the nose a little bit more. The palate's got a little bit drying. Well, I mean, I find rye kind of drying, but it's, it's a little extra dry, a little oaky and kind of hot, but flavors are good. Nose is fantastic. We'll see where the rest of them go. Second one here, I even know less. At least this one was a private bottling for co-op. 58.5%. This is only 57.9%. A little less, still from Shelter Point, but it, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's only one out of 150 bottles, so it's got to be another private bottling, but I don't know where Paul got this. Let's try this one on the nose and the palate. Oh, now that one brought a little bit more coffee, a little chocolate. Yeah, definitely, um, you know, those... Well, for me, a little more casking influence. Much sweeter. I like the nose on this one. Nice candy red apple, but this is a little cooked down, a little stewed, a little more oak. Yeah, they're not as far as what I'm about to say, but almost a curried spice palette, like a very savory dry mustard spice. Very interesting. Straight on the palate. Cheers. Boy, the palate follows the nose. Whereas the first one had a lot of candied sugars, red apples. Really like this one. This one, I need to spend more time with, but it's very, very savory for my palate. 
like I said, dried mustard. I don't know if I've ever said that on a whiskey. A little bit of light curry powder, dried mustard, uh, um, bay leaf, like really savory spices versus sweeter spices. Huh. I wonder, I wonder what the casking on this, like, like maybe a bit nutty, maybe some French oak. Well, that's a single cask. So very curious. Nice, nice pick so far, Paul. It's been about a year since I've had the batch two of Alberta premium, you know, out of Calgary, uh, Alberta distillers, uh, puts out just, just some fantastic rye and this Alberta premium cast strength is awesome now this is 66 percent, so i guess it's the strongest of these three this one is the first that i'm having here that really does add a layer of nice herbal nice grass little lemongrass yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna save that little bit of light citrus but with that herbal note try it on the palate cheers Actually, I feel like I'm noticing the the 66 percent. So it 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 is pretty strong. It has a nice coating quality. It does have some high sweetness, but of these three up here, a significant amount of that lemongrass, herbal note, cut alfalfa, whatever um, is your associated kind of edge of of grass note with rye grain. I think you're going to get it on this. Now it still has some nice hot cinnamons, some nice sweetness, like a high, yeah, nice candy sweetness. I'll go through these once real quick and get my final thoughts. So I'm actually going back and forth across these a few times, which usually when I'm tasting live with you, I, I don't, I don't quite take the time to do, and I probably should. Coming back to each of these, bit of water in between each, um, the, the one that had some unique spicing has moved into a little more understandable light espresso some chocolates uh and these two stand out to me a little more unless you like herbal notes than the alberta premium batch too this one really stood out as a pretty grassy rye whereas these had a lot more oak interplay i don't know what cask they put them in and i don't know this is the co-op this is i don't know what but Paul, if you could comment down below, whatever this one is, 57.9% shelter point single cask rye has become, it wasn't in my first tasting, but in these three, most interesting to me, sort of a nutty chocolate nature in some nice, bold, spicy rye. Wow. Well, this was sure fun for me. Thanks for tuning in. I, I, because these are limited bottles, it's a little bit tougher, I'm sure, to connect. But I hope you had a little bit of rye to sip and pour, uh, enjoy along. Or if you had the co-op or any of these two shelter points or, you know, one of the Alberta premium cast strength, it'd be great to hear your thoughts. Uh, you know, do you like any of these more than another? Or just, you know, what do you think of some good cast strength rye? Thanks for joining me here. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. And I am off to drive to Winnipeg. But sadly my online friend mark whiskey whistle i believe has gone off to korea so i can't even do a meetup i'm sad mark i hope you're well and i hope you guys are doing good see you next time